Finally, we get a break from Potomac. So the husbands are still on the show. Um, G tells us he has bipolar disorder. Mia has been there for him. Blah, 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 blah. Mia is a great wife. Then <clears throat> we talk about Ineka's bit. She addresses the Osu thing. I'm happy they didn't really go too much into it. How husband was like, it's taboo. Um, Ineka... I think she was blinded by the green eye bandits. If she does come back next season, she will see what they are made of. Well, Robin is out. We know that. But she's going to see that, you know, they were in her friends. But also, Wendy was a bit shady because, girl, they just wanted to use you to introduce her. You could have done that. I would say that. Wendy could have done that easily. Like, the fact that she didn't do it, it says a lot. But Ineka's accusations of the shrine, the, you know, the witch thing, that's a lot too as a Nigerian. Like, we don't want none of that. And I don't know if they cut the part where um, Wendy was apparently speaking Igbo. I didn't see that. I watched it on Peacock. Anyways, they kind of squashed the beef. They're not going to be friends, but they could be cordial per Wendy. We get to Wendy's segment. Wendy is every woman, basically. She says her talk show is basically struggling which i'm like i'll just do a youtube show be shady be funny you're quick with it and add some source of politics on it i don't know why she's trying to be super perfect without like uh, a tv station's budget like girl everybody's like making money on youtube you already have the name do the recaps talk about what you talk about but i think wendy is so in her bag of being super like you know, Nigerians are very like acad academia driven. So I think she's still in that. But you need to be shady. You need to get to people's levels because if you're too up in the air, nobody's going to watch you. But I love that um, Eddie's business is going well. They're a happy family. We love to see. Kierna has brought out looks beautiful. We address the, 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 the drag out. Giselle obviously is always on the wrong side of history. Kiana calls her out for not checking on her after the fact because Giselle is a fake as bitch. She uses her dad's sickness and death as an excuse, as expected. But I love Kiana. Kiana is very honest. She thanks the lady. She thanks Carrie most especially because she's like, girl, you were there for me. Ashley tries to evade responsibility, saying she didn't know that stupid Fraggle Rock was going to come do this. And they try to blame Candace, even though on audio, Deborah literally approaches Candace in aggression. Mia confirms Deborah was on a rampage that night, talking about oh Candace's words, da 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 da. It's the housewife show. We're supposed to be shady. We're supposed to be quick with it. So to blame her that using her words somehow incited violence is like crazy to me. Like I understand now why Candace had to go because these people would gaslight you. Like it is madness, pure madness. Because I'm like. How is this Candace's fault? She was having fun, sitting down, did not approach this girl, did not say anything. It's been some time, like Ashley confirms. She walked up to her and that's why she used her words to defend herself. So for her to be violent is like madness. But like um, Karen said, Karen has scars gone. She looks gorgeous. Ashley's bit, divorce, no divorce, we don't care. I'm waiting for her announcement to Robin is gone. As she should have been gone last year. But I think they thought she would bring something this year, which she didn't. But Ashley should be next on the chopping block because Ashley has no original story. I love that Wendy calls her out because she's the one that brought Osu to the camera. And she didn't have no excuse on why she did bring it. But she still tried to defend herself, talking about she expects it were a, a money back from that her crazy old man that she married girl he ain't giving you shit that's how you ended up in the garage apartment when you tried to divorce him the first time he will tie up his funds and ashley is gonna either go back and do some side jobs for him to get some money from him because she is a stupid girl that is evil and does crazy stuff to other people but i don't feel bad for her like that's her that's her story she could go with it but at least the triggering part, I think maybe they probably re-edited it for this because the second part was so triggering for so many people. At least the triggering part was short. Um, most of it was kind of lightheaded, but I'm happy the season is over. We need a new face. Andy tries again to make people make peace. Bandits don't take any responsibility. Ineka apolog or says she apologized again. But I get why Wendy is hesitant because you came from my mom. You have to apologize to my mom. I think after that happens, Wendy will be able to move on. Because Wendy doesn't play about her mom. And we know that. And you shouldn't play about your mom. Like calling her a witch for no reason, girl, bye. So 
that's how the season ended. I'm glad it's over. It was a toxic ass season. They definitely need more fun than the tragedy that it is. And Giselle needs to go. I know Andy likes her or loves her, but she is holding the whole situation back because she feels so protected. She has no accountability. When you confront her, she runs. She will say stuff that when you bring it up, she doesn't want to talk about it. So she she's holding the show back. And if she leaves, I think they'll have a forward projection. All right, guys, tell me what y'all think. Bye.